Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Resident Evil Archives. Resident Evil. Sounds odd to say its name twice, but that's genuinely what I was talking. Okay? Thunder. Lightning. You know, probably lightning because you're light, but the sound of it. Thunder and lightning. <laughs> you and your ways. Anyway, yeah, Resident Evil Archives. We're going over here to check out Barry's other direction, because apparently only in his direction are there zombies. Only. There must be no undead here. Blasphemous. Okay. This looks vaguely familiar. In actual fact, this doesn't just look vaguely familiar, this looks incredibly familiar. It's the room with a museum! That makes no logical sense. Portrait hangs in the wall. It seems like it's watching you. Yeah, Jill. Paranoia is really going to solve the problem we're in at the moment. Hmm. A portrait hangs in the wall. Why do they all seem like they're watching us? Oh yeah, you can push stuff. No, Jill. Don't push it out of the way. Hello. Yo! Yo, yo, it's Jake! I'm gonna drop some fat beats on you! No? Well, nothing alive could react to the horror that is Jake's acting. For those who don't know what I mean, play Advance Wars Dual Strike and find out. Epic theme! God, what happened to his voice? An eerie picture of the mansion. I can't really see it that well, but sure, I'll take your word for it. Huh. Was a zombie here the last time I played a Resident Evil game? But sure, we'll run with it. I guess that's a globe. Huh. I guess I need art supplies. Yeah, I thought so. A dagger. Oh, right, I have to explain this. I, I'll explain it. Thank you very much, Star's Manual. In this game, you have a defense item. When zombies grab you, they don't get to just bite you. No, no. You can actually choose an item to attack them with once they grab you. If you have either items equipped, in Jill's case, you get two with both characters. In Jill's case, you get a dagger and a taser, and if we play Chris's, I'll show you Chris's. If not, I'll probably explain if I get too tired halfway through. But, um, a dagger is equipped. So, in essence, you can, uh, Set it to automatic, but as I've learned through very painful things, really quite painful, we're gonna quickly adjust the control setup. Have I got it set to? No, manual. That way I can press C and it'll just do it. Let's see. Ah, oh, okay, let's go. What the f. Oh, crackers. I don't like people like you, you know. One, two. See, see, use the knife, use the knife. Oh, thank God. Unfortunately, that means we can't get the knife back now. Oh, that's helpful. Do we have any? We have two bullets. Whoopie frickin' do. Two bullets. Woohoo. Wait a second. If there's no stepladder, does that mean. This is gonna be annoying to me. Ooh, now we're getting somewhere. I guess we can push the the box case thing to our own advantage. That's quite useful. Then we can climb up on it and lo and behold! Uh, you're not injured, Jill. No. No, you're not injured. There's a map of the mansion one if Take it. Sure. Well, you might notice the mansion first floor on the left is quite different from it. You are, it used to be. There's actually a whole new segment added on to the mansion just to the left. And actually, that segment, I have to admit, is probably one of the scariest 
places I have seen in this entire place. I'll show you why when we get there. You got the map in the mansion 1F. Do I want the map in the mansion 1F? No! But yeah, that's that done, I guess. An old photograph of a frame. Maybe this person was a connected to the mansion somehow. Be nice if you could explain what they look like. It's locked. An emblem of a sword is engraved into the lock. How can you tell? Do you just you don't even move? Do you just have ex She's long and short sighted, it appears. Portraits and photographs can have more. Looks like they could come to life at any moment. Oh joy of joys. That's just a cheery thought to think of. Does it say a woman drawing water? A woman drawing water. Some things never change. Let's open this door. And pass through a place we've already been through. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. What else is there to do? I guess we could look around, but... I'm, to be honest, I'm not really that fanciful of this area at the moment. I have a dark feeling. Hmm. That could just be a normal feeling. See, there's something that's creeping me out a bit. Damn it, computer screen. I'm just wandering around confused. And you'll see why. He's not getting up. Not yet, at the least. Can you, do you, why do you have no bullets, Kenneth? This door is where we need to go next. And god, am I going to save after we go in here. Ooh, this place gives me the chills. Will you take the handgun clip? God, yes. We combine it with the thing. Combining hasn't changed at all. You'll be, I guess, thankful to know. There's a corpse collapsed on the floor like it was an instant death. What the hell happened in this mansion? I'll tell you what happened. Jill, a lot of freaky stuff. Yeah. What's up? No. Do my eyes deceive me? Are those herbs? Yes! Green herbs! Good old green herbs. Without these, you're pretty much going to get nowhere. Luckily, the episode's already nearly over. And Zombie with a Knife pretty much made everything a bit... Meh. Combine... Meh. Okay, we're out of here. Oh, by the way, if you check here... It's just a crow's thing. Ooh, don't you just love those realistic footfalls? I do not trust that body. In the original game, zombies died and they faded away. Why aren't the bodies going away? I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. There's something bad waiting. 
and of course we're going to explore it further another day. Probably a while, because, you know, this takes ages, but... Well, we've done it, everyone. This is a day's worth of Resident Evil archives. I hope you've enjoyed it, and there will be more in the future. But, uh... So, what's happening in this mansion? Why is everyone dead? Why are there zombies walking around? Why is Barry repeating the same lines he did? Why is Reska running away? Why am I saying Reska? And why aren't the zombies' bodies fading away? I don't. Bye.